Hi guys, so yesterday you, we read up until the end of page 63, not 63, page 68, and you were adding in, your task was to add in some onomatopoeia, so I ho hope you had fun adding those in, like the crash, bang, and the wallops of the stones falling down. So we're going to read now from page, the start of page 69 until page 70. It's only a short read today because that's the end of chapter 4. So we're going to start at the top of page 69. And her throat was parched and her lungs were panting in the hot, thin air. And she fell to her knees and clung with trembling fingers as the stones began to roll under her again. She let, her, she let go of her little bag of food and her blanket. They didn't matter anymore. The only thing that mattered was climbing on. She dragged herself on, bleeding knees up and up until every muscle hurt, until she had no breath left in her lungs, until she thought she was going to die. And still she went on. Then one stone bigger than the rest began to shift above her as the little stones beneath it tumbled down. It slid and rolled towards her and she had no strength to move. But as the last second, but at the last second, it bounded over her and rolled on down the mountainside in a cloud of dust and pebbles. Where it had been, there was a great hole as tall as a house. The moonlight shone into it a little way, but the hole went deep still, right into the heart of the mountain. A gust of sulphur-laden smoke came billowing out, and Lila knew that she had found her goal. It was the grotto of the fire fiend. And that is the end of chapter four. How exciting. So I know it was only a short read, but you've got a really great task to get on with. So I hope you enjoyed reading that, and I hope you enjoyed chapter four, and have a really great rest of your day, guys. Bye.